So I'm going to show you how you can copy something to a USB drive. So, okay, what you can do, as you see right here, we have, uh, I have some notebooks in my demo folder. I'm just going to pick and choose a couple of them. So let's choose this demo use. So what I'm going to do is, look at that. If you press on the note, it brings up this thing where it has these check boxes and check marks, and it allows you to either rename, copy, move, delete. Let's see what else you can do here so you can see everything. You can lock, unlock, add, and remove. What we're looking to do is actually copy. So let's select two different ones. We'll select demo, and we'll select this one here called Super Note Info. We're going to copy both of these, okay? So we're going to hit now the word copy right up here. So it says copy to. Okay, so now what we have to do is select where we want to copy these files to. But that's because we're in demo items. We don't want to copy to demo items. You have to use, let's see if I can hover here. You want to use this area here. So we want to go back to our super note, where it says super note here. We want to click there. Okay, you see that? We click there. And now we can select one of these folders. The folder we want to select is called USB drive. So we're going to select the USB drive. And now up here in the header bar where it says OK, we click OK. Now it's copying. Your files are now copied to your USB drive. Yes, they're on your USB drive. So that's how easy that is. OK, so here's the drive that I have. Now you can see I have a couple other things in here. But here you can see these are the things we just copied over, especially here's the ones today. Uh, apparently I copied one over the other day. Uh, we also have a directory item. You can see that these files are not very big and you can't really open them into a computer unless you have a SuperNote partner app because they're saved in raw uh, SuperNote files. So the file system through SuperNote is a .note. If you want to export something from your SuperNote that is in readable format, you can do that. You can save it either as a PDF or as a Word document. You can also save as a text file. So, so if we want to save this, all we have to do is come into here, our little quick access area, and we can hit the export button. So we can export. And as you can see, we can save either as a ping, uh, text, or a doc. We can also share by QR code. So for this, we'll just share it as a PDF. We just want to share that one. So right here, we'll hit export, uh, original or vector. Uh, let's move it to vector because okay and now it's going to export the pdf it has been exported to our export slash draw let's jump to that we can actually jump to that section yeah i want to copy that okay now i have to select where i want to copy to so go back to the super note select the usb drive and now hit okay now it's copying to our usb drive now we have a pdf copy to the USB drive. Okay, so here's my finder window back open. I hope you guys can see that. It's I know I have a actually a very small area here. So you can see here's that drawing that we saved in the PDF from the SuperNote. So let's open it up. It's not going to fit the whole screen because I made the screen smaller, but I'll open it up and okay, so you can see that uh, it's very it's not going to fit perfectly on screen because the PDF uh, app is bigger. But um, here you can see I have it in what's called preview on my Macintosh. And there's the picture. It's saved as a PDF document on what? The USB. So you can see it works pretty awesome that you can save a PDF document. You can save into the notes file. Now the notes file is not going to open this way. Um, unfortunately, we have to be hooked up either to the SuperNote or we can use it through the, um, what do they call it, the partner app. Some people asking why they can't search. Like, there was literally somebody that was going to stop using the SuperNote, sell it, and get an iPad instead because they couldn't search their notes to, to be able to search your SuperNote documents. So we're going to create a new notebook in here. 
And when you go to create a new notebook, you'll notice there's two different types. There's a standard type and there's a real-time recognition type. So when you select what kind of notebook you're going to make, you want to select the real-time recognition because that there will actually allow you to search your documents. But the standard type will not allow you to uh, search your documents. And it's actually, actually, it's actually better to have the real-time recognition anyways because at any time that if you want to convert your actual handwriting to text, you can. It does say it will increase power consumption, but let me tell you, I only use the real-time recognition. I've only used the standard type once, and let me tell you, my battery lasts almost a week. It lasts, on average, between four and five days. That's almost a full, um, you know, work week. We'll call this one uh, new test. And as you can see, you can write them out like that, and they will convert it over. It's really cool. Like, like, and if you're ever doing this, if you never know how this handwriting works, like let's say if you say you want to do uh, baseball cards or something, and you notice that. There's not a space between it. Oh, it still put a space between it. Look at that. I didn't even want a space and I put it in there. <laughs> so, but if you ever need to add a space, you can just use this little space bar thing here. See, that does it right there. This is backspace on there. So yeah, you can put anything. What was what, what, the name we're gonna use? Uh, how about search this? Let's see if it figures it out. It figures it out. It's so cool how it figures it out. Um, okay, so we're just going to create one of these in my demo. Uh, let's just write about anything. Uh, today is Monday. It is... Oops. Snowy out. Okay, so we're just going to use this purpose of testing if we can search this. So what we need to really look at is if we go back out to our tree here, you see that little A in front of it? As long as that A has been updated, that means it can be searched. Okay, now we can go and try our search. for handwriting we got to make sure that we are letting people know that's what we're looking for and there you go it's found everything it says snowy out so snowy out is uh, been found in two different journals my journal version 2 and this one it's snowy outside so it does work it does take a little bit while because it's searching every notebook inside of the super note so the more notebooks you have the longer than take the search for it this is the one we were looking for and they found it for us that you're searching the proper thing so we were looking originally for let's get this you know we can search handwriting file keyword or star so we got you got to make sure that like you don't have it on file but you're really trying to search your handwriting um you know i have this many folders worth of notebooks i have them for now the demo one is the one where i test things out and show things to you guys but you know i have the home the hobbies the media personal items work which is all my confidential work stuff raw graphics and miscellaneous i have tons and tons of notebooks and some of these notebooks have over 500 pages each so yeah that's how easy it is to search you just have once I do a lot of stuff with Cato, let's see how many times this shows up. This probably shows up a couple hundred times. Okay, you can see there's actually five pages of Cato. So that's, uh, we can see that we have it quite a few times there. So we had five pages, 32 total results. That's actually not bad. How long it took there to find all 32 pages of the word Cato in all all of my notebooks that took like less than a minute that was pretty good 
And like I said, I know I use it a lot. So the search function works really, really good. All your global handwriting from all of your notebooks. It also can search file names, like I said, keywords and other stuff as well, which is really pretty awesome. So if you have a lot of keywords, it can search them. If you have certain files and you can't figure out where you put them, 